Define anthropometry. Anthropometry is the study of the measurement, quantitative, of the human body in terms of the dimensions of bone, muscle, and adipose, fat, tissue. The word anthropometry is derived from the Greek word anthropo meaning human and the Greek word metron meaning measure. Purposes of anthropometric measurement 1. To calculate the nutritional requirements 2. To assess the degree of malnutrition 3. To monitor the growth 4. To calculate the dose of medicine. Parameters of anthropometry Age-dependent factors Dash Weight Height Head circumference Chest circumference Age-independent factors Dash mid-arm circumference 1 to 5 years Weight for height skin fold thickness mid upper arm slash height ratio. Weight. The measurement of weight is most reliable criteria of assessment of health and nutritional status of children. Weight can be recorded using a 1. Beam type weighing balance. 2. Electronic weighing scales for infants and children. 3. Bathroom type of mechanical scale, very unreliable. 4. Salt a spring machine, in field conditions. Weech's formula for 3 to 12 months, age in months plus 9, divide by 2. For 1 to 6 years age, year, multiply by 2 plus 8. For 7 to 12 years, age, year, multiply by 7 minus 5, divide by 2. Simple weight calculations. At 4 to 5 months birth weight doubles at the age of 1 year the birth weight triples at the age of 2 year the birth weight quadruples at the age of 7 year the weight of the baby is 7 times that of the birth weight. Weight gain in children in newborn 10% of birth weight is lost initially and regain its birth weight by 10 days. For the first 3 months 200 gram per week 30 gram per day increases. Second 3 months 150 gram per week 20 gram per day increases. Next 6 months 100 gram per week 15 gram per day increases. For 1 to 3 years 3.0 kilogram per year for 3 to 12 years 2.0 kilogram per year. Recumbent length measured by using infantometer for less than 2 years. Standing height measured by stadiometer for more than 2 years. Formula for measuring height for 2 to 12 years equals age in years x6 plus 77, in centimeter. Normal length, height value at birth 50 centimeters, 3 months 60 centimeters, 9 months 70 centimeters, 1 year 75 centimeters, 2 years 90 centimeters, 4 and 1 half years 100 centimeters till 10 years 5 centimeters per year. Weight per height is equal to, actual height per weight corresponding to the height, multiply by 100. A value below 90.5% indicates malnutrition. Value greater than 120% indicates overweight or obesity. At birth, the head and trunk are large relative to the rest of the body. The limbs continue to lengthen during the course of development, especially during puberty. This can be quantified by obtaining upper body segment and lower body segment measurements. Upper segment measure from vertex to pubic symphysis. Lower segment measure from pubic symphysis to foot. At birth the ratio is 1.7 is to 1. 6 months 1.6 is to 1. 1 year 1.5 is to 1. 2 years 1.4 is to 1. 4 years 1.2 is to 1. 9 to 10 years the ratio will be 1 is to 1. Arm span measurement. Distance between the tips to middle fingers of both arms outstretched at right angles to the body and measured across the back of the child. Age of the child is less than 5 years arm span 1 to 2 cm less than body height. At 10 to 12 years span equal to height. In adults span greater than height. Head circumference.
Brain growth is rapid during infancy and it is unaffected by mild to moderate degree of malnutrition. Marasmic children will have relatively large head compared to body size. Should not be measured within 24 hours after birth. Head circumference should be measured using steel tape. Bony landmarks, anterior, superior orbital ridge, posterior, external occipital protuberance. Normal head circumference at birth 35 cm 3 months 40 cm 12 months 45 cm 2 years 48 cm 12 years 52 cm. Chest circumference. It is usually measured at the level of nipples, preferably in mid-inspiration. In children less than or equal to 5 years chest circumference should be measured in lying down position more than 5 years in standing p. Relationship between head size with chest circumference. At birth, head circumference is greater than the chest circumference by up to 3 cm. At around 9 months to 1 year of age the head circumference equal to the chest circumference. But thereafter chest grows more rapidly compared to the brain. The head circumference is greater than chest circumference by more than 3 cm in pretums. Small for date and hydrocephalic infants. Mid upper arm circumference. It is conventionally measured over the left upper arm, at a point marked midway between acromion, shoulder, and olecranon, elbow, with arm bent at right angle. During 1 to 5 years of age it remains reasonably static between 15 to 17 cm among healthy children. If it is less than 12.5 cm it is suggestive of severe malnutrition. If it is between 12.5 to 13.5 cm it is indicative of moderate malnutrition. Bangle test. Quick assessment of arm circumference. A fiberglass ring of internal diameter of 4 cm is slipped up the arm, if it passes above the elbow, it suggests that upper arm is less than 12.5 cm and child is malnourished. Shaker's tape. It is a plastic tape with colored zone green, yellow and red. Red indicates severe malnutrition less than 12.5 cm. Yellow indicates moderate malnutrition. 12.5 to 13.5 cm. Green indicates normal greater than 13.5 cm. Skin fold thickness. Measured with her pendant's caliper over the triceps or subscapular region. Gives an indication of subcutaneous fat and indirectly the caloric reserve in the body. Fat thickness. Greater than 10 mm in healthy children 1 to 6 years. Less than 6 mm is indicative of moderate to severe degree of malnutrition. BMI measurement. Body mass index is one way to estimate a person's body fat that takes into consideration the person's height. BMI is calculated using a person's weight and height. Body mass index is obtained by person's weight in kilograms divided by the square of height in meters. Underweight, BMI is below the fifth percentile age, gender, and height. Healthy weight, BMI is equal to or greater than the 5th percentile and less than the 85th percentile for age, gender, and height. Overweight, BMI is at or above the 85th percentile but less than the 95th percentile for age, gender, and height. Obese, BMI is at or above the 95th percentile for age, gender, and height.